Hey, how's it going, Cancer? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. What's up? So guys, I'm getting ready to do a bonus reading for April. And this is gonna be, it's called Clear the Cobweb. So I do bonus readings that are a little bit different from my standard monthly reads. Like I do um, a new month reading, and then I do Wealth and Abundance, and then I do a mid-month. So I try to do something really creative and interesting for the bonus read. So this one is gonna look at the difference between your subconscious mind and your unconscious mind and how you can sort of bridge the gap and clear the cobwebs. So I hope you enjoy this. And guys, if you're not a current subscriber, take a second to subscribe to the channel. But everyone, you know, you're gonna have to tap the notification bell also because I'm getting messages from a lot of my regular viewers that my videos aren't coming up on timelines. So yikes so please tap the notification bell so you'll be alerted because um, I do lots of amazing videos for you guys to help you on your journey so anyway we're gonna jump in here right away with the gilded tarot and look at the surface and what is occupying your conscious mind right now so you know you can always do your res research on uh, what the difference is between conscious and unconscious subconscious not unconscious so i mean this is a pretty fantastic card to start your reading off with what's on your what is occupying your conscious mind right now victory right we've got the ace of swords here this is really focused on being the winner huge accomplishment like the universe is going to be delivering this to you sometimes so i think you guys are doing a really good job of staying focused on what it is that you'd like to accomplish with your life um, great card to start your reading off with, especially something called Clear the Cobwebs, because it looks like you do have this focus really strong for you right now. So let's see what is occupying your subconscious mind, and this card is called The Hidden. So you've got the Page of Wands here. So, so the Page of Wands, it really talks about getting a message to, to come in to like activate you somehow. So maybe you're feeling, I really get the sense here that you feel like somebody's not doing their part, actually. Like this is, this is somebody that you're waiting for them to come through and it could be nagging you a little bit. Like you've asked somebody to do something and while you're kind of blowing it off on the surface here, it is bothering you. Like, is there somebody in your life who think that you think that they could step up a little bit more? Like, start thinking about that. And I, I think you should probably address them because if you're not really recognizing it on a conscious level, um, your subconscious mind is thinking about it. And it, your subconscious mind will sort of waylay you, you know, take you away from your path. So this is really interesting. So let's pull the direction card, which will show you what you should be focusing on. So you've got the nine of pentacles. So you're being asked to look towards your future, you know, and what it is that you'd like to reap in the future, really. And this is like wildly abundant. So I think if you're focusing on what is going on here with somebody not delivering, not stepping up to the plate, you might want to have to release that a little bit. And like I said before, if it's not occupying your daily thoughts, you're thinking about it and it could be coming out in different ways. You know, um, if there's somebody that you don't quite feel yourself with, getting some really strange vibes here. It's like you're giving, keep on giving somebody a pass for some reason. And while you think you're doing a favor to them and you think that you're being nice about it, which is cool, there's some part of your brain going, um, hello, why are they not stepping up and why are they not doing what they say they're going to do? You know what I mean? So um, very interesting. So you're being asked to focus on yourself and your success with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. These, are, these cards are about you and what you want for yourself. And this card is about probably wasting a piece of your brain thinking about somebody and you want their behavior to change, but I don't get the sense that they're ever going to change. They're certainly not gonna change for you. 
um, but you want them to, to some extent. So the next card should really help with that. It's called the clutter. And what thoughts do you need to release? Interesting. So this is really wild here. So we've got the four of pentacles. So you need to release any sort of anxiety about the future. Um, you can see here, this character, he's really holding on tightly to every pentacle. It's like, it would be like if you, um, you ever seen those, I, I think a lot of senior citizen ladies, they, they hold their purses in their lap and they hold them like they're a life preserver. You know what I mean? So this is, this is saying you need to sort of relax a little bit and maybe this is having something to do with it. Maybe you've got somebody coming into your life and maybe like borrowing money or, hey, can I borrow your car or I'm out of groceries. You know, they're constantly hitting you up and you think that you're doing yourself and them a favor by constantly helping them and you're trying to focus on your own good life. But then you've got, I don't know, I got the word leech, which is not, not flattering, but I mean, there's something going on here and they could hold you back. And it's making you sort of penny pinch in your own life to some degree, because you've got a budget in your time, your energy, your finances for somebody else, and it's making you nervous. So you need to get rid of that. And I don't know if it was your reading I saw in the recent past where you really need to drop the dead weight in your life. And you know, there's one thing to helping somebody constantly over and over and over again, but it also remove their inspiration to stand on their own two feet and take care of their own life. So are you budgeting in time, money, energy, your emotional availability into assisting somebody else who's perfectly capable of doing it for themselves? And if so, why? Like, why? Why are you doing that? Because it is bothering you. You might be even having some weird dreams. You could be getting irritated at other people or even like connecting with characters if you're watching TV shows and you see somebody of a similar um, situation and it's annoying you, you're connecting with it. I hope that all made sense. So let's see the action and the first step towards clearing your mind and getting focused. So, I mean, you've got the king of swords here and this is this guy does not mess around he looks at exactly what needs to be done and while he's not ruthless he's very calculating so i mean the first step i think that you need to take is a, a step backwards and look at how you want to spend the rest of your life and do you want to be helping somebody who is like 100 percent capable of taking care of themselves but for some reason they're just not stepping up to the plate and they keep on giving you um, like a little bit of a guilt trip. So it's weighing heavy on you. Like you keep on getting these messages from somebody, you know, they could, and it could just be sort of an implication that, oh, you know, I wish I had this and they're not outright asking you for it, but you're going to give it to them because you feel bad. But then it's also making you adjust your own course for your future because you're accommodating for this person that is a fully capable adult and you know the king of swords wouldn't be taking any of that you know he would just sort of cut the dead weight and sometimes people have to fail in their own right you know i, I see that you've really got somebody sort of like an entourage but you're i don't really think that you're, you're in the position to afford an entourage you know but you're doing it out of the goodness of your heart or, or some sort of obligation um, but it's time to really address that. And the way that you can truly help somebody is to put them in a position where they can help themselves, like maybe help them with a job search or get a cheaper apartment or working on their budget or, you know, finding ways for them to feel a little bit better about themselves instead of setting them up to be kind of like, I don't know, a sponge for the rest of their life. And I'm not trying to sound mean, but I think probably a lot of people have that person, you know, where they can't ever afford to do anything on their own or they're just not working or they just work enough to get by and then expect everybody else to provide them with the frills. And are you in a position to do that? And if not, then why, why are you letting these sneaky little messages come in and sort of mess with your future plans? So like the bottom line is like the king of swords is saying okay it's really time to look at everything just from a purely data like analytical and leave your emotion out of it and start like cutting the baggage accordingly 
so that you can bring in your victory. Like if you're feeling sorry for somebody, it's really going to hinder you. So, um, you know, setting yourself up for success and setting somebody else up for their own success are two totally different things. So make a decision what you want to do for your life there and go for it accordingly. Wow, I had a lot of information come through me there. And I just hope that you're able to do this because I'm seeing that you're pretty emotionally attached to this person, but they could probably latch on to anyone, no insult to you intended, and and hope for the same result. You know what I mean? So it's time to really take that into a really strong consideration so you can live your best life. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Take care, bye.